I remember a lot of um, lefties, especially all the tankies, uh, during the Hong Kong uh, protests, were saying there is a lot of like CIA interference, and this sort of stuff happens all the time in international protests, where like, uh, you know, depending on America, the American state's needs, they will beef up one side of the protest certainly, but as a consequence of that, as a consequence of that. Um, the Hong Kong protesters were very well equipped. So if there is a video out there, if there's a video out there and you guys have like a really good video of like how to, how Hong Kong protesters uh, protested appropriately, I would love to watch that. Hong Kong protesters evade police and keep demonstrations alive. Visual investigations by the New York Times. Mm. Nom, 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 Can you imagine the New York Times? ever doing a two minute and 50 second analysis of how how black lives matter is uh, appropriately evading uh, authorities traffic cones suitcases and laser pointers these are just some of the objects that have been made into tactical gear by demonstrators in hong kong Protests here began nine weeks ago in response to a controversial extradition bill. But demonstrators are now demanding more widespread democratic reforms. Protesters have faced a heavy police crackdown. And while some have gotten violent by throwing bricks and using slingshots, many more have employed innovative tactics to stay safe. Man, look at these violent looters and rioters and... Look at how violent they're being to cops, dude. Shameful, shameful experience uh, that we're witnessing here. Those police officers did not even remotely deserve to have bricks thrown at them by these Hong Kong slingshots. protesters. What? Many more have employed innovative tactics to stay Everybody safe. Everybody loved this shit a week ago. What happened? When black people do it, though. They've oh, tried no. to extinguish tear gas oh, canisters no. with water bottles, using traffic cones and metal bowls to snuff out the gas before it spreads. On the front lines, many demonstrators wear makeshift armor. Saran wrap becomes skin protection, while garbage can lids and luggage are made into shields. The near-weekly protests have also stood out for their meticulous organization. Videos show protesters forming human supply chains, some over one mile long. And to communicate what supplies are needed, they use hand signals passed along the chain. In this video, protesters are asking for helmets. Several videos show how the massive crowds part to allow ambulances free passage. For the most part, the protests are organized anonymously. Posters with information about marches are shared through airdrop and telegram chats. Protesters have adopted a strategy they're calling Be Water in order to evade the police. It means- Wait, I need to mention something here. Um. <clears throat> Notice how this says Hong Kong protesters and it doesn't say Hong Kong riots. Do you know why? Because it's not a riot. Wait, what? It's not a riot. What do you mean it's not a riot? What's a riot then? Just when black people do it? Is that what you're actually saying? They're literally slingshotting bricks at cops. You're going to say, if you think that that's a protest, which I think that's a protest as well. By the way, we have no disagreement, but you can't turn around and say it's a riot in America when, when the, the Black Lives Matter protesters aren't even throwing bricks at cops or aren't disorganized at, at, their, at their retaliation to the oppressive police force that is increasingly more violent every day. It's that they move quickly rather than occupying a single location. You can see that in this video a large group of protesters entering a train station so they can travel to another area. And here, riot police have just arrived to disperse a crowd that has already left. So we need to get together, Wait, so there's riot parts. police, but it's not a riot? Wait, I'm confused. What's going on? Anti-government demonstrators, most wearing masks, have also established new ways to hide their identities. Laser pointers and spray paint are used to obscure security cameras. And some people leave single-use transit tickets at train stations so that protesters don't have to use the card registered to their name. It doesn't seem like the protests will end anytime soon. 
Though hundreds have been arrested in recent weeks, thousands more have been able to evade police capture. It's clear that as the demonstrations continue, this level of organization will remain key to keeping the movement alive. Give us some more, dude. We want to know what these protest tactics are. I need to learn so much more. Can I just ask someone what this, what, what this would be considered? What if, what if black people started arming themselves with bows and arrows and started shooting at uh, police officers with bows and arrows? Can, can people who were telling me that, you know, black people are doing uh, thug stuff, but Hong Kong was actually peacefully demonstrating. Can you explain to me how this works or... Let's keep watching. What happened, guys? What's going on, guys? I thought it wasn't a riot in Hong Kong. What happened, dude? By the way, in Hong Kong, during those peaceful demonstrations, a man who did the all lives matter shit to the Hong Kong uh, protesters was lit on fire. That's another thing that happened in Hong Kong. Right? Take notes, motherfuckers. Problem is that this USA protest is much more close to heart and protesters are much more emotional than police's too because they're literally protesting against them. This is a Croat opinion. Yeah, in China, thank you, Jake. In China, they depict the Hong Kong riots as a bunch of terrorists. Shocked. Shocked to find out that the, the oppressive authoritarian country in that circumstance portrays the counter-protesters against them as terrorists who are violent and they do do violent things because it's a fucking riot the difference though in america is that this is universally applauded whereas when our own citizens protest against our own government then that is a blue lives matter opportunity Oh, laser pointers too, yeah. What? No way. Wait, that's capital that's being harmed in these peaceful I protests. The that's so crazy. That's yeah, so yeah. crazy. What?
No way. By the way, I am in no way, shape, or form saying that any of this stuff is inappropriate. I'm just trying to show you the hypocrisy between people who try to tell you that Hong Kong is different and that here in America, they're doing a, a much worse job than Hong Kong, okay? Or here in America, they're just, they got out-of-state out state agitators or it's white Antifa or any number of different things. Here's the reality, okay? Here's the universal reality of protests. The vocal minority that is rising up against an oppressive authoritarian government is always going to be treated as terrorists or rioters or violent agitators or whatever the fuck you want to call it. There's different flavors to it. Ultimately, you either agree with the cause of the protest and understand why they're angry, okay? Or you disagree with the cause of the protest. That's how easy this is. And for a lot of people, they just simply can't get themselves to say, I disagree with the cause of this protest, even though that is genuinely the reason why they are so vocally upset about storefronts being damaged where people are getting fucked up, where people are losing their eyes and shit. Like, it's crazy. I hope for some of you who are watching this right now, this opens up your eye a little bit to the reality. This opens up... Um, this, this opens up your mind just a little bit to exactly how hypocritical most people are and exactly how brainwashed you are into thinking that something is totally appropriate in one circumstance, but that exact same thing is totally inappropriate when it happens here. Let's take a look at how China showed these uh, Hong Kong protesters. If the New York Times doesn't do a how America is framing the Black Lives Matter protesters article after this, I'm going to be pissed. This is how China is trying to shape the story of what's happening in Hong Kong. For weeks, anti-government protests have gripped Hong Kong, with anger rising over China's growing influence. The Chinese have responded by trying to control the narrative. Here's how. This is Junius Ho, a lawmaker in Hong Kong with strong ties to Beijing. At this press conference, he shows off pictures of foreigners seen at the protests. It's an attempt. Come on, dude! 80% out of state, said the St. Paul mayor. 80% out of state, said Donald Trump. Turns out it was a lie. Okay, we're, we're, let me just finish. Let me just wrap this up first, okay? Let's finish this up. Let's look at all of the uh, good tactics that they're using here. your father the devil man look at these non-violent peaceful demonstrations brother it's about the tactics why do you keep ignoring the point of the video there's something learning using the pro in the u.s protest yeah, 100%. That's why I'm showing it. Excuse me. But it's a, it's a double whammy. I'm, I'm showing it because tactics are good. And I'm showing it to this audience. Um, but I'm also showing it because of the... It's a double whammy because, you know, the, the, the way that the American government you treated these protests were peaceful. And these you were justified in peaceful demonstrations. Devil. Whereas the same exact people. things, even not to this magnitude, are being treated as like violent rioting in America. Hi, King. An idiot. They coordinate plans for the encrypted messaging app Telegram. People are saying Signal is better than Telegram for this purpose, by the way. Once an action has been initiated, hand signals are used to call for equipment in the front line.
Let's watch how China is framing the Hong Kong protest now. Foreign influence and anti-government sentiment are also common themes in posts by CGTN, China's international media outlet. This post shows a tweet from former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, who's voicing support for the Hong Kong protests. This is like when liberals say that, like, there's Russian interference. You know what I mean? Dude, it's so, it's, it's the same photo. It's the same photo. I'm sorry. This is exactly the same. What the American government is doing is nearly identical, if not identical, to what the Chinese government did in Hong Kong. The tweet is used as proof that the U.S. is interfering in Hong Kong. Turkey does this too. Clinton's tweets were also part of a music video that CGTN published featuring Chinese mainland rappers. Hey, Mrs. Clinton, you know nothing about Chinese citizens. Now I got some words from the president. Oh, well, something's probably happening with Hong Kong. Somebody wants the number from us. One story in Chinese propaganda is so good. It's so bad that it's good. It's so bad that it loops around back to being good. I love it the People's Daily, the official paper of China's Communist Party, was blunt in its reporting on foreign influence. There is no question that the United States has its hand in what's going on in Hong Kong, though to what extent is hard to measure. Chinese officials are increasingly framing the protests as threats to national security. Oh. Wait, what? They frequently use extremely dangerous tools to assault police officers? What? What? That's crazy. What? No way. Wow, that's so bad. Only in China, dude. I mean, Americans would never do that. America would never do such a thing where they would turn around and say, you know, peaceful protesters, my ass. They're just violent rioters. They want to you know, they want to kill white people or they want to kill cops. There's also a pattern of focusing on protesters being violent. The media labels these demonstrations as organized by a small group of rogue act Video of simulated military exercises carried out by police in mainland China show the protesters as dangerous rioters. I like that they, I like that they haven't shown, they don't show their, the real protest footage because the real protest footage would literally show like Hong Kong police beating the shit out of people. And in this one, at least they can like, you know, they can simulate it comfortably. When protests at Hong Kong's international airport escalated, CGTN emphasized an incident in which a reporter from the mainland was tied up and beaten by protesters. The next day, many demonstrators apologized for their actions at the airport. CGTN did not report this. Oh, so it's okay if you apologize. Got it. I just want to. I just want to see more. Like in America, by the way, it's not in America. It's not the protesters that beat the press. In America, it's the fucking cops, dude. In America, it's literally the cops that beat the pro the, the fucking journalists. Chinese media put out this video about its police in Shenzhen. It shows the People's Armed Police Force stationed in a city that borders Hong Kong. The video says the People's Armed Police Force shall participate- Literally the same! Roll the tanks through the street! Roll the tanks through the street! When the looting starts, the shooting starts! 